defensively right before the half, and then you know a nice touchdown run by Hawkins. He got us back in the game, and second half just never could get anything going, and just kind of got wore down. Really, bottom line, um, got wore down by their offensive line um, and their defensive line. Quite frankly, I think uh, you know they kind of dominated the line of scrimmage in the second half, and I think that was obviously the difference in the game. Offensively for us, you know, we'd get something going, we'd get a penalty, get a call back. Um, and just too many false star penalties. You know, just negative plays, self-inflicted wounds offensively to, to get anything going. And um, and then defensively, just, you know, not didn't tackle good at all today. And, and again, I think their offensive line um, just kind of put it to our D-line. We need to know it, like you talked before, that we, leading up to the game, that we knew you knew Kentucky was going to run the ball. You talked about missed tackles, but what really goes into kind of Kentucky having this stuff today. Yeah, I mean, we knew they were going to run the football, but it's still hard to stop. And so, as you know, all the teams we've played, you know, and, and, and defensively, we've, we've struggled, quite honestly. We all know that. Um, we struggled this year tackling. Um, you know, we, we, we don't have very much depth there on that side of the ball. Um, you know, we got to get a lot stronger. I think that was pretty evident um, up front and, and, you know, really at the linebacker front seven level. Um, you know, and then and we had guys there several times. We had guys there tonight and just could not get them down and, you know, broke tackles. And then he's going to score because there's nothing else there because you're trying to put everybody in that box to stop the run. And once they clear that five or six yard area, there's not anybody else there. And if you don't make a tackle, it's going to be a touchdown. And that's why they had so many big plays. Is that a matter of angles or strength? Or? No, I think it's probably a little bit of both. It's technique, it's you know, strength, it's um, you know, the proper angle, proper fit, where you're at. Um, I think it's all those things, and, um, you know, we got we got to get a lot better. Scott, can you comment on what Bowden was able to do? I mean, he's a pretty special player. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's a good athlete, good player. Um, you know, we, they, again, I think for them it starts up front. I think their offensive line's very, very good and solid. Um, one of the better lines we've faced this year. They work well together. They're big, they're strong. Um, and then what it ends up doing is putting one guy – on the quarterback, and you know if he's he, he was able to get away several times today with some big runs. Once he gets an open field, he's hard to tackle. You know, once he gets to that point, he's going back to his days of receiver that he had early in the year when kick returner. Um, he, he's hard to handle in the open field for anybody, and um, he's a special player. And you know what they've been able to do the, the second half of their season with him there. I, you know, what a, I think they've lost one game maybe since he's been taking over at quarterback. So they, they limit your possessions offensively. They they control the game that way. Um, and, uh, you know, it's worked out well for them. Was his first touchdown in the third quarter there kind of a backbreaker? I mean, it looked like at the end of the second quarter, you guys you know, you yeah. got the fourth down stop, you got the big touchdown, and you're right in the game, and then they come right out. Well, we grabbed some good momentum, I think, right at, right at the end of the first half. When we stopped them on fourth down, and then two plays later, we score. You're feeling pretty good about it at halftime, down four. Um, second half, uh, you know, just we, we couldn't get anything going really offensively, and, and they didn't really slow down. Um, you know, it was just uh, – it was just a bad half for us, um, you know, whether we got wore down or whatever. I just think, um, again, if you break it down to one one thing, really, it's just the trenches. I just think on both sides of the ball, that's where they won the game. What was your message to these guys after the game? When you're sitting here at Sessions, yeah. still more to play. Yeah, well, I said one game doesn't define us for this season. I think we've, we've had a very solid year. I think uh, we've grown a lot from the time – you know, we got here in January till till right now. Um, but I told them we, we also, when you go through tough time, when you go through adversity like this, you have to learn from it. You have to, you know, this takes us in those, their mouth. Um, they have to carry that on, particularly the young guys that are going to be back as we go through all the off season. And you have those days where you don't want to go to weights. You have those days where you don't want to do things right. Well, you think about this, what it feels like in this locker room. So that propel you to work harder next year. And so, um, you know, and, and I hate it for the seniors. You know, I hate it for them to have to go out like this, but um, against uh, this team. But you know, for the young guys, we got to learn from it and, and continue to grow. Because most of the time, you have a twenty-four hour window. You turn around, obviously, a bowl game. Yeah, it's not for a while though. Just how? What's the next, I guess? How do you just turn that focus? Yeah, you know, I think for us, uh, we'll come back in. Uh, we'll be in for the next couple of days, um, and the they exams start. We're going to give them. We're going to give them about five or six days off. And then um, we'll figure out where we're going to go uh, to our player bowl game. And then we'll get them back in and start practicing. And, you know, it's really kind of, for us, it's going to be, you know, kind of a new season. You know, we're going to, you know, look, put this one to bed. And now for us, these next three to four weeks, work, fundamentals, try to get better as a football team, um, 
try to heal up in some spots, um, and then you know get ready to go try to go we'll win a bowl game and uh, carry that into the off season. Um, you know what we did this year, we got a lot of promise with this team. We got we can a lot to build off of. Uh, we'll continue to do that. Um, us coaches will be out recruiting uh, really basically for the next week and a half. So uh, we'll be out on the road for that. But that's kind of our schedule for the next week and a half. Tackling wise, was, I mean, you guys like you said, you guys struggled this year. Mm -hmm. that about as bad as you've seen it this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty bad today. It was bad last week too, you know, Syracuse. And, uh, you know, against this team right here, you know, you know you're going to have a long day if you don't tackle. Um, they run hard. Their backs run hard. Their quarterback obviously can run. Um, and it was one of those days, you know. It's frustrating, uh, you know, when, when you, you have a guy there and you just don't get him down, that's frustrating. And uh, as coaches and probably as players as well. But um, we got to get better from it. We got to continue to learn and, and grow and as a football team and get better, particularly at that aspect. All right. All right. Thank you.